what happens? What's next after a patient has had her breast cancer surgery? Now, to answer that question, lots of factors go into the answer. But one of the most important to remember is that surgery in the treatment of breast cancer is typically, and I emphasize the word typically, just one part of the treatment. Most invasive breast cancers require surgery, require other adjunctive treatments, which may include radiation therapy, uh, adjunctive chemotherapy perhaps, anti-hormonal therapy, etc. Um, so what comes next after the surgery depends on what the surgery was, where it is in the sequence of the ongoing treatment of the patient, uh, what's the extent of the disease, et cetera, et cetera. What's the stage of the original cancer? Uh, and so it's hard to give a really generalized answer to this, but let me give you a few hypotheticals. If somebody's had in situ breast cancer and now they've had a lumpectomy, typically, depending on the age of the patient and the size of the in situ breast cancer, the next treatment would be radiation therapy. Following that, then it, perhaps there would be anti-hormonal therapy. So that's one example. Let me give you another hypothetical. Let's say we have a HER2 new positive breast cancer. Now, in most HER2 new positive breast cancers, many of us, including myself, are doing upfront chemotherapy called neoadjuvant, followed then by the definitive surgery, then followed usually by a total of one year's worth of Herceptin. Now, Herceptin, if you'll recall, is not actually chemotherapy. It is a biologic, a anti um, antibody sort of therapy, if you will. So the Herceptin can go on while the patient is now receiving, let's say after a lumpectomy, uh, radiation therapy. What are some other sort of hypotheticals here? Well, a good one is somebody who has stage three breast cancer initially. Typically, that patient would have chemotherapy up front, followed by some type of surgery, maybe a lumpectomy, which as you'll recall is technically a partial mastectomy, or could be a mastectomy with or without reconstruction, and then followed by radiation therapy. And then if that uh, stage three breast cancer is also hormone positive, then the patient would be on anti-hormonal therapy probably for a minimum of five years. And many of the stage three patients are now being kept on their anti-hormone therapy longer than three years. So it's a really big answer to a difficult question because it depends on the initial stage of the cancer, what type it is, the extent. That's why to answer a question like this, the real answer is please be working with a multidisciplinary team. Your multidisciplinary team will know what the logical sequence is. Remember that breast cancer is a lifetime disease because uh, the, the follow-up is long-term, and if we're just focused on one breast, we can never forget the other breast for the rest of your life. So please, please, please work with your multidisciplinary team. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.